is the LEGO Technic Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 set number 4138 really worth $50? Let's find out. This car is really something that we haven't seen before in LEGO Technic. It's in the same exact scale as the McLaren Senna GTR, but instead it is packed with two pullback motors and basically no functionality other than that. You do get this lever over here and whenever you push it down, the pullback motors are released. The mechanism itself is very simple, but also quite effective. I do appreciate that we do get at least some sort of mechanisms in the car since it is a Technic set after all. One thing I greatly appreciate about the car is that you can actually take off the handle and put some pieces uh, on the back to cover everything up and have it be more like a display model. And best of all, even if you take off the lever at the back, you can still use the car as just a regular pullback set. If you're enjoying the video so far and you would like to uncover all the secrets of LEGO Technic, such as how to fix the Control Plus system, rarest motors, gears, and more, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. But, no pressure, no pressure. Now, as a display model, I really don't have that many complaints. I do think that the overall shaping is captured quite nicely. One thing that does bother me is that these pieces on the front are not securely connected. You can sort of move them around a little bit. I do think that is quite bothersome, especially if you want to just present the car in its best looking form. We of course also do get an openable hood, but unfortunately the car has nothing on the inside. In real life, this is not an electric car and it actually does have an engine, so I do wish that maybe the pullback motors were also connected to a fake piston engine. I think that would have been way cooler and a lot more fun for the pullback car. And at the bottom we do see that the front pair of wheels are just connected by a solid axle. They're not able to steer in any way at all. I do wish that we did get a hand of God steering knob and maybe use a combination of rubber bands to have return to center steering uh, with a pullback set. You don't want the car to go in circles all the time, you want it to go straight, so just having a return to center mechanism would have been way better at the price of $50. The aesthetics of the car are quite nice. I do appreciate that we get a lot of lime Technic panels. Unfortunately, there is some color variation just like in the Lamborghini, but it doesn't look as bad as on the Lamborghini. It looks mostly the same lime since LEGO is using more panels here instead of the smaller pieces. The color problem here is definitely a lot better than with the Lamborghini. Unfortunately, not even the doors can open in this car. I mean, the Ford Mustang Shelby should have definitely had at least openable doors. This is something to be expected out of any Technic car that is in the size, scale, and price range, so I do think that it is a missed opportunity to have openable doors. Of course, instead of paying for the Ford Mustang, you could just get two of the new pullback sets, get a similar amount of pieces, two pullback motors, eight wheels, and pay $10 less. I do think that you are getting a much better deal and value for two of the smaller pullback sets instead of just the one pullback car. If you want to have a race between the Porsche and the Mustang, you need to pay at least $100, and that's very expensive for something that doesn't even have a single gear inside it. But at $50, there's just much better sets you can buy. For the exact same amount of money, you could just get the stunt show truck and bike set with a pullback motor, gears, a lot more playability, and just an overall a much better experience. Please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. My reviews of the LEGO Technic 2022 sets are coming very soon, so make sure to subscribe so that way you don't miss those reviews. This is your Unbreaking here and I'll see you in the next one.